What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, when you talked about Virgin Galactic tickers SPCE, I want to give you a breakdown of some of the current data points, what's been coming out about the company itself, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So currently, it is up 1.68%, and right now, 4.15 million shares being traded. 12.4 is the average. The market's been open around two and a half hours, so today might be a little bit low for overall volume. At the time of doing this video, no SEC filings, no press releases, nothing like that. Rather, a lot of articles still coming out talking about their recent earnings, which in my opinion was absolutely phenomenal because they did raise guidance for Q4. They beat on both earnings per share and revenue for Q3. And they did also state that they're going to be really working on cutting any expenses, unnecessary expenses. Unfortunately, that does include layoffs, but I think that's kind of the name of the game ultimately. And that's what Virgin does need to do so in my opinion very successful earnings analysts don't seem to agree with me so as you can see some of the latest ratings that did come down the pipeline wells fargo gave one a sell rating a dollar 75 price target matthew who does have a 79 percent success rating which is fairly good so who knows if that will come to realization or not but as well it looks like td cohen gave a buy rating two dollar and fifty cent price target and oliver does have a 49 percent success rating it is to note though if you look at Wells Fargo and the latest round of 13 F's, they actually did reduce their position within Q3 by 34%. So this is typically what does happen. Uh, institutions either sell or they buy whatever they see fit. And then they do a rating right after that to cause the stock price to disrupt. And so technically, this is where I kind of have a problem with how the system is ran. Because technically, Wells Fargo reduced some of their position. And then what they do is they go and kind of escalate the problem by giving a very negative rating and then obviously during q4 most likely this is just me speculating they'll go out and buy so time and time again a lot of institutions do that but who knows let me know your thoughts on that and while i am on interactive brokers i just want to show you one thing so the latest morningstar report does show the fair market value being four dollars and 18 cents so let me know your thoughts on that. Also on a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as latest Morningstar reports, analyst ratings, short information, analyst forecasts for upcoming earnings, take a look at Interactive Brokers for all of this to be completely free. Link in the description below and also the comments. Just quickly going back here for one second, I just wanted to kind of point out that BlackRock, so one of the big names in the stock market, did increase their position by 12.88% during Q3, which is kind of surprising because they were reducing a lot of their crap is what you call it during Q3. So once again, that's kind of a positive thing. But moving on from here, I'll go over some data points, starting off with options activity. So currently $46,000 in puts being purchased versus 54 in calls. So obviously that's fairly optimistic, especially in comparison to the last couple of days, a lot more calls are being purchased. And in fact, 66% of all the options today is bullish. Even if you do look at a lot of the calls just based on the volume, it is anticipated to be above $2 by the end of this week. And as far as puts, people are anticipating for it to be sub $1.50. So this will make a little bit more sense when I talk on the technicals and whatever else. But going over shorts, so as it stands, shorts are returning 788,000 shares, 20.06% of the free flow is being shorted 73.53 million shares overall are being shorted and cost to borrow average is 1.3 and through interactive broker short availability does indicate that there's around 1.5 million shares available to be shorted so how i analyze this is by them returning on a green day does signal that they feel it's justified and potentially could continue to trend up. So you do have that optimism on the options activity as well as this information right here. Plus, with shorts having access to around 1.5 million shares to be increased and as well for it to be very cheap to borrow, as you can kind of tell through the cost to borrow prices. So technically, they're not doubling down because they feel like things might be progressing for Virgin in a positive way. And I think this is a very justified thing as a result of their recent earnings. But what do I know? I'm not a financial advisor. You guys always do your own due diligence. So one thing I just wanted to kind of cycle to is technicals. Because typically on my videos, I like to give you those three data points and just to let you know on a kind of broader scale, what is the sentiment? What is kind of the data truly saying? So options, in my opinion, is kind of bullish. Looking at this information i do see this as bullish and as well 
looking at the technicals as it stands it is at a dollar 83 so it's currently trading between the p and the r1 which in comparison to a lot of other growth stocks is very positive so as it stands a dollar 80 is a very strong support but it's kind of flirting with it right now so i would consider a dollar 60 being the very strong support at this stage so that's going to be the line in the sand and then two dollars and one cent is going to be the next strong resistance so i feel like especially as a result of their earnings and with cpi coming out tomorrow and if it is positive and then in reality virgin will have all the kind of recipe or the ingredients needed for it to essentially go up from here let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below a couple of things i just wanted to point out as well looking at the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors are getting in stochastic you do have that inversion today so it's turning very bullish so black line above the red and plus it is at 59 so overall it's kind of considered neutral so it's not overbought or oversold or anything like that so in my opinion i do think that things are turning for the positive finally for Virgin Galactic because even if you look at this chart it's been very crappy for a very long time for the greater part of 2023 in fact so let me know your thoughts have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing with Virgin Galactic plus on the actual charts it's below a lot of the key pivotal moving averages but it is currently in the higher percentile of the boiling event so like I said I think technicals are fairly optimistic as well let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo. It is free shares. So just sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000, plus you get one free share of SoFi. So for $100, you get six free stocks, plus any cash that you do have in this account, you are earning 5.1% APY complete amazing deal link in the description below and also the comments only up until november the 20th so make sure you take advantage of that with all that said i appreciate all of you watching